Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The team of the year vote is here. Well, I'm going to do that today on this video and also just talk about what the market is doing right now because it is exploding with the news that team of the year is going to be not at least for another couple weeks. It's kind of like all the panic that we saw earlier this week and even a couple days ago is going away because of all of this uh, information that we got based off of when team of the year is going to start. I want to talk through a few of the my guess, uh, my thoughts on when team of the year might be, whether or not we'll see nominees tonight or tomorrow on Friday and stuff like that. So again, this is the vote that EA tweeted out today. It's basically very similar to last year. I'm going to show you guys the webpage right now. And I'm actually going to do my vote right here on this video really fast with you guys and show me, show you guys my vote. But I wanted to point out a couple things really quick. So if we click on this about team of the year tab, um, of course, it's the last 12 months of football voting closes on january 18th your vote will count towards the esports fiva 21 team of the year and it says of course fiva 20 uh team of the year will be announced fiva 21 team of the year will be announced later in january when special items will be released but if we go over here to the voting tab and click on the terms and conditions check this out voting begins at 8 a.m yeah we know that and it ends on the january 18th at midnight pacific time the final team of the year selection will be determined by a combination of EA and community votes. So it's always the same thing in that EA, if they don't like the votes, technically they could kind of choose whatever they want. They get the final say in all of this. Now, I made a team of the year prediction earlier and I tweeted out on Twitter, but that one was basically just banter. So if you saw that one and you're like, yo, why is this guy have Kane and Son in his team of the year? That's not realistic. Uh, th that's why it was basically just for banter. Now, if I was making a legit one on what I think it will actually be on what I think EA will choose and what I think people will vote to choose, I think this is what your team of the year is going to look like right here, uh, with these players in it, um, Lionel Messi and Lewandowski. I think this is what team of the year is going to end up being. This is my vote for what I feel team of the year is going to actually be when it comes out, of course. But this was the banter one that I made earlier today with Ronaldo, uh, Kane, and Messi with Son in there as well, showing my Spurs fandom. But I think this is the, one of the most realistic team of the years that I think we will see uh, in terms of uh, what voting could influence. Like I think a lot of people voted for Bruno Fernandez. But I also feel like Lewandowski hasn't got a team of the year and he got snubbed last year and this year has to be the year. We need to have multiple Bayern players, even Thiago, even though he shows up as a Liverpool player because that's where he is right now. Thiago could very easily be in team of the year as well. Um, of course, no Mbappe, no Neymar in my vote. You know, that's kind of where I feel like it's the most. The attackers for me is where it could come down to a lot of the vote with Mbappe and Neymar having a lot of people vote for them for like FIFA purposes. Um, maybe not so much real life. Uh, but we'll see. We will see. So again, the information that we learned from this today, though, is the voting is going to last until, until January 18th, which is uh, Monday, Monday, January 18th, which was a date that we thought team of the year might actually drop. Right. So since we know that that is the day the voting ends, could we actually see team of the year come out on that day? I think the likelihood of that is slim to none. I don't think EA would be able to somehow say that they are stopping the vote and releasing the actual team of the year on the same day because technically, if our vote counts, which of course you can kind of think in your head, does it really count to an extent? Um, since EA has ultimate control over this, which they always do on, on voting stuff like this, since our vote counts, wouldn't it take them some time to tally up the results? Maybe they have live results that they're able to see, they're able to take to, to track with and um, whatever, but I feel like it would take them some time to actually form the team and actually make the team and make some graphics or make a promo video, you know, make a promo video and some promo content, like the video they dropped today on Twitter. There's a lot of that stuff that comes out with team of the year. So I honestly don't think that when the voting ends on the 18th, we can expect to see the actual team of the year promo start uh, on the 18th or even the 19th, the day after. I think it's gonna be either Friday the 22nd or since team of the year usually starts on Monday, the 25th of January. So we're looking at another two to two and a half weeks of no team of the year. And that is again, why this market is absolutely flying right now. So a lot of people saw this news today and they're like, all right, team of the year is not going to be very soon. And we don't have any information about team of the year nominees being in packs yet. Um, that is something that I guess we could find out more information from tonight. I am not expecting team of the years uh, on Friday. I'm really not. I'm just expecting it to be 
headliners set two, and that's kind of it. I'm not expecting Team of the Year's to nominees to be in packs because we don't have any car design yet, and usually EA does not over promos. Now, if we get some sort of car design in the code tonight, if Footwatch tweets something, then yes, we'll be worried about that, and that will probably cause the market to crash. But as of right now, the market's feeling good because a lot of people are seeing, okay, nothing for Team of the Year uh, until tomorrow. A lot of people think nominees are coming tomorrow. I myself am not seeing it unless uh, EA drops the pack code tonight, but we'll keep an eye on Twitter for that one uh, before we specifically see it. So um, I honestly think it's just going to be headliners team two, and you'll see the market feel comfortable again. That's why you saw such a massive rise. Just an example of what cards are like flying today. It's just stuff that, you know, has gone up already that continued to go up more because it's a very meta or just very popular card in this game. All of Bruno Fernandez's informs are up 100,000 coins. His first inform is up from 400K to 500K. Um, that's like a before rewards price. Uh, to now, the second inform was 615 last night. I sold one at 650, and it went to basically 700k right now as well. There's plenty of other informs and other special cards on this market that are literally just flying off uh, the market right now. I'm flipping some Furlan Mendes. I did buy a few headliners. Um, I did buy a few headliners, and I want to kind of speak about what I think is going to happen with the market being more confident now. I feel like people are investing in these cards today after marquee matchups supply. Like Wilfred Zaha is a 380,000 coin card. He was 360 earlier today. Bamba is up a little bit. People are looking at Joao Felix. People are investing in that Amavi card as well. Um, you know, people like investing in a card like Amavi because it's so cheap and, you know, all you needed to do is go up 5,000 coins, which it could go up through just purely with people investing in it. And you have a nice profit right there. So this Amavi card is going up a little bit. Mkhitaryan is a very interesting one. A lot of people are buying up this headliner card because um, this guy plays on Saturday the 10th. Saturday the 10th, Mkhitaryan and Roma play. They're playing Inter, so it's a big game. But the thing is, Roma have already won two games. So if they win this game, I know it's a big feat, but if they would end up winning against Inter this weekend, this card would have three games won in a row. They play Lazio the week after that. But whenever a card gets towards the end of its cycle, sometimes on two and three wins, depending on what the schedule looks like, they start to rise and people start to invest in them for that potential upgrade. So this card going to an 87 could come even sooner than we were initially thinking. So that's something that's going on right now. And then also... Uh, price range updates happened today for a lot of cards that were really needing them. And I don't know why they just uh, they just drop these updates randomly like at the same time. Why don't these get spread out like whenever the card actually needs to get updated? Why don't you update the card then? But Casemiro got his price up uh, price range updated. Kessie wrote to the final as well as another one. This is a card a lot of people were wanting to see upgrade and he went from extinct at 290. I believe right now he's 330 and he's rising. He went down to 324. Wow, this guy is flying, man. Kessie Road to the Final is 360,000 coins. Uh, and I think his price is just fluctuating this much because it's a very rare card and a lot of people want to try him out. I also think right now this might be a cause for why guys like Teo Hernandez are flying on this game. Like his um, Teo Hernandez's card, who I flipped last night, this guy's up a bunch right now. He's up to, I think he's... Well, I'm searching the wrong price right now. But um, this Taylor Hernandez went from like 210K last night to where I bought him. I think he's at like 250 right now. So this card is really going up with the links to Kessie as people are putting those two together and they're linking them and uh, playing with them in their teams. But that's just kind of the state of the market right now. If we go take a look at Footbin, it's not just it's it's not just out of packs informs that are booming, right? You know, your Mbappe is even up a little bit. Some of your gold cards, Rashford out of, or sorry, Ronaldo out of packs is going up. Van Dijk is absolutely getting, you know, through the roof. He's 240,000 coins. This Carrasco was 140 this morning. He's 150. You just take a look down the list at some of these cards. Uh, you know, Walker's inform was 700K. He's now 764. Yetter is 300K after being 270. This Zaha was panic sold. You know, even some of the right backs that were super duper duper low. Wijnaldum, 628,000 coins for this Wijnaldum card right now. Look at the rise this guy had today. 570 this morning. And now he's all the way up to 630, 640K. Crazy rise on some of the, the market right now. In my opinion, this might be one of the highest points on the market right now this weekend because 
Um, depending on what comes out tonight, pack code wise, there could be some panic selling tomorrow on Friday for headliners team two, depending on who gets in. Um, so you might see more panic selling then, and then another rebound in the nighttime. But for some of the stuff, I just feel like, like this is the highest you're going to see it with, especially with team of the year coming very soon. Uh, this De Bruyne card, right? 440 K 450 for this De Bruyne. He was 390 last night. Um, 400 K. So a lot of stuff is really, really flying, especially stuff that is not right mids or right backs. Because of course, a lot of people have these two cards that are in their teams right now. They've got Robin and Kleiber. And these two guys are really causing a lot of waves in the market. A lot of right mids and a lot of right backs are staying in their same price range and they're actually crashing a lot uh, because of that. We looked at um, Zambrata yesterday on the video uh, and this guy is still falling. He's like 760,000 coins and what he was. Now he's rebounded a bit right now. He's 810, 815. But even like Prime Lam, Prime Lam, Right back, Prime Lam is 1.1 million coins. This guy was 1.3 mil just a couple days ago. So a lot of these cards have really dropped off. Will they bounce back at some point? Yes, um, but it might not be until like the team of the year time frame. Uh, even like Joao Cancelo's road to the final was like 230. He's now down to 190. So just a lot of stuff related to that right back, right mid with the Robin and Kleiber situation. But again, it's, it's kind of like this team of the year stuff. It's not really anticlimactic, but it's like, oh, okay, well, you know, team of the year isn't going to be coming out for another couple weeks at the very earliest. So um, honestly, if I had to give you guys my timeline on what I think is going to happen, I think we're going to have headliners two come out tomorrow on Friday, and that's going to run all the way until next Friday. It's going to be a one week promo. And then team of the year nominees are going to start that Friday, which would be the, which would be Friday the 15th and team of the year nominees would be in packs all the way until the 22nd of that Friday, and then boom, the 25th on that Monday, because I still think they're gonna run Team of the Year the same. So January 25th is my personal opinion on when Team of the Year will be. So I know it seems a long way away, and people aren't very happy about that, but that's honestly where I think we're headed, and I think we're going, uh, based off the information that we did get today. So again, that's kind of my thoughts behind the whole market and the whole situation right now. I just wanted to make this video to show you my Team of the Year. Uh, I'm gonna have a full prediction video coming out in a little bit. But of course, with the voting, uh, we are now allowed to vote today and, and stuff like that. So that's cool, right? It's cool that we get to have a say in some of that stuff. I just hope EA show us the statistics. I tweeted at Foot Economist. I said, yo, show us the statistics, right? Statistics. Give us a little Excel graph. I know you like Excel sheets, Foot Economist. Make a little bar graph or something inside of Excel. Tweet it out. People would love that. We'd like some open communication on the actual like number of votes for the players and who got the highest percentage votes and all that sorts of stuff. So a lot of stuff today on foot. I wanted to make this video to kind of sum it up, wrap it up, talk about it. And uh, the market's really high right now. So if you want to get some sales, if you want to take the coins on some stuff, this might be one of the, you know, not the last chance, but we're going to near it closer and closer to team of the year. So um, with stuff really going up a bunch today, if you held your Thursday flips, GG's, I held one or two cards and they've already sold. I had a bunch of cards that I traded today. I've actually made a lot of coins today. I just accidentally cleared my sold items, um, unfortunately. But we bought some stuff um, right around 6 p.m. as well that started to continue to go up when the market's now really high. So I'm clearing out the rest of those informs, special cards. And I bought this to share at 122. So I'm just hoping for stuff to get more rare tonight, those prices to kind of peak to a point and then we'll be able to cash out and be ready and set to go and make more coins on Friday for headliners team number two. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.